Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. My new book, Everything is Tuberculosis, comes out March 18th. It is available for pre-order now, and I even get to show you the cover today. So, okay, people who are only somewhat familiar with my work might wonder whether Everything is Tuberculosis is a young adult novel, like The Fault in Our Stars or Turtles All the Way Down. Uh, it is not. For reasons I'll get into, it's not the opposite of my previous work, but it definitely is different. So five years ago, I, I didn't know that tuberculosis was still, for lack of a better term, a thing. I thought of TB as a disease that struck down 19th century capital R romantic poets, not as like a present tense phenomenon. But then in 2019, I visited a tuberculosis hospital in Sierra Leone where I met a boy who shared the same name as my son. And when I came home from that experience, I was obsessed with tuberculosis. When I came home, I learned that TB remains the deadliest infectious disease in the world, a distinction it has held for most of human history. What's different now, and has been different since the 1950s, is that tuberculosis is curable. And I began to wonder, how did we end up in this insane situation where over a million people are dying every year of a disease we know how to prevent and cure? What does that say about the world we share and the worlds we might share? And so I began a somewhat obsessive search to understand TB, both from like a biomedical perspective, but also from a human one. Everything is Tuberculosis is a science story about how we came to understand TB as an infectious disease and eventually developed a cure for it, but it's also a human story about why we've done such a terrible job of distributing that cure to the people who need it most, and especially it's the story of one boy trying to survive drug-resistant tuberculosis. I started out writing about tuberculosis because writing is sort of how I think, and I wanted to remember everything I was learning, both from tuberculosis survivors and from experts. But eventually I put aside the novel I'd been working on and started writing exclusively about tuberculosis. And in time I came to see it as a book about about how tuberculosis has shaped so much of our world and still does. I mean, TB shaped our geography. It gave us towns like Colorado Springs and Asheville, North Carolina. It profoundly shaped our history, and we, in turn, have shaped TB because the disease follows the trails of injustice that we blazed for it. And now it's a book! Hank, this is a rather significant departure for me in terms of writing, but in other ways, it's very similar to my other books. It's a story of hope and grit in an unjust world, a story of why we go on and how we carry each other through or don't. Oh, and here's the cover! I love it so much! I've been very lucky throughout my career in the cover department, but I don't know that I've ever been quite this lucky. Two other things. There is the small matter of the boxes behind me. I am signing 100,000 copies of Everything is Tuberculosis. Uh, you can pre-order your signed copy in the doobly-doo below or at everythingistuberculosis.com. I know I said after last time I wasn't ever going to sign like hundreds of thousands of books again, but I'm not signing hundreds of thousands of books. I'm signing 100,000 books. Also, there is an audiobook narrated by me that is available for pre-order now if you prefer to read on audio. It is not not signed, but only because I haven't yet figured out how to sign digitally. That reminds me, I've been live streaming a bunch of my signing sessions over at John's channel, and if you want to hang out with me in like a really low stress way where I'm just signing my name over and over again, you can do that. There is a link in the doobly doo. So Hank, Everything is Tuberculosis will come out just after the 20th anniversary of my first novel, Looking for Alaska. And if you'd told me 20 years ago that I would write like a non-fiction book about tuberculosis, I think my first response would have been like, I'm still writing? That's so cool. But my second response would have been, huh, really? I didn't know back then that tuberculosis was something you could still get, let alone that between a quarter and a third of all living humans have been infected with it. I certainly never imagined myself as a nonfiction writer, but this has been one of the most joyful and heartbreaking writing experiences of my life precisely because it is a true story. It's a short book, but I hope it can be an important book in the lives of those who read it, and I hope that it can accelerate the movement toward making tuberculosis what it should have been a long time ago. History. Hank, once again, Everything is Tuberculosis comes out March 18th. Signed copies are available for pre-order now. I will see you on Friday.